Hello friends, welcome to CEC Live Lectures. Dear friends, today in this session we are going to continue further in our series on Big Data Analytics. Friends, this is the 12th lecture, uh, 12th lecture in this series and uh, we are going to talk on Advanced Highs and Edge Base. For the discussion on the topic, we have with us in our studios Dr. Mansaf Alam. Dr. Mansaf Alam is Associate Professor and he is teaching in the Department of Computer Science, Jami Mila Islamia. Friends, if you wish to ask questions from Dr. Months of Alam on today's topic that is advanced hives and edge base, then do call us through our toll free number. Our number is 1800 I repeat, our number is 1800 Now, I would like to welcome our guest, Dr. Months of Alam, once again and would request him to continue further. Hello, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, friend. Today, I will discuss advanced hive and edge base. In the previous le lecture, we had discussed about the high basics uh, and uh, uh, fundamental things about the hives and the simple command. But right now, I will discuss about the uh, hive advance along with the edge base. In this, uh, we can see how can you manage the output of the hive query. Let us see a quick review. Hive is a big data analytics tools. This is just like a SQL. You can write the query command in the query language. You can get the result and that result will be available on the screen. So, sometimes you are interested to route that output to somewhere else. Suppose you are going to write a Hive query and you can get the result on the screen and you are interested to route that screen to the local file or to the HDFS. So, how can you do? There are certain commands to do this. Here, managing outputs. So, the output of the Hive query can be redirected to another table, a local file or HDFS on the requirement basis. The commands to enforce the same have been given below. Insert output into a local file, insert overwrite local directory. So, the query and the command in hives you can write in a single quote query result, then use the select a star from simple table, insert output into the HDFS. So, friend, you have a query, you want to get the data from table on a screen and in the command select a star, a star means the all the field from the table will be displayed on the screen and you are interested to route the result on a screen to a particular uh, uh, local directory or SDFS. So, for local directory or you can uh, overlight in the existing a table just you have to use the uh, query result in a single quote and write down the uh, simple SQL uh, like command that is also available in uh, Hive uh, select a star a star here indicate that all the field from and sample table this is the name of a table. So, in this way you can get the information from table and you can route it to the local directory. Now, the question is here sometimes you are interested not to route the output of to the local directory, you are interested to route the output of the query result to the STFS. So, how can you do this? Let us see here. Insert override directory query result and double quote single quote select star from sample table. So, inserting output into table, insert override table query result in a bracket, select a star from sample table. So, in this way you can route your data to the uh, local file or a SDFS. Now, let us see here the Hive a script. So, a scripts in Hive are created in the same manner as in P. However, Hive scripts are named with the extension HQL for example, sample dot HQL. To run a script, the following command need to be 
given from the command line not the hive shell here you can write the command hive dash f simple dot hql friend see here hive script how can you write the hive script as you are going to write a program in c so first you have to create a file with the extension dot c similarly you want to write a program in fortran you have to give the extension f and in the case of c++ you are giving the extension dot cpp if you are writing a, a script in sql then you have to write the extension sql similarly in hive script when you are going to write some script means you have to write the query a script in a file and file uh, having a extension dot hql so you want to uh, create or uh, write a script first you have to create and give the file name with the extension hql for example suppose you want to create to add two number so give the uh, uh, file name that is the uh, uh, ahmad and we you have to also add the extension ahmad dot hql so in this way you can create the file with the extension dot hql in that file you have to write the uh, script command and to run that file you have to write the command on a dollar sign not on the hive shell just you can write hive dash f and file name with the extension for example we have a file ahmad dot hql so if you are interested to run this file first you have to give the command hive dash f and that is ahmad dot hql so in this way friend you can write the hive script now let us see here if we join in hive friend you know how to join the table you have two table and you are interested to join this two table then you can use the equi join in sql in some uh, uh, other uh, uh, rdbms similarly you can also use that concept equi join in hive so to perform a join create two sample files for which the join need to be performed then create a table for the data set that need to be joined for example we wish to join two table one of which is the implied data table and the other contain the email id of the employee name of the employee is the common column between the two tables so friend you are going to use the concept of equi join in hive first you have to create two table with the different name but uh, the one column should be common or two com, uh, column should be common if there is no common column then it is not possible to for the equi join so friend you are in if you are going to join two table then first you have to make at least one common column for example suppose uh, you are going to join two table one uh, table name a student another table name marks so in one table the details about the students are stored and the uh, in second table marks table sessional marks the, and uh, practical marks theory marks are there but the enrollment number should be in both table or name should be same in the both table then you can join either on name or the uh, student id so this is the concept to join two table uh, two table in equi join let us see with the help of a diagram so uh, here there are two table one table that is known as the im employee table that is imp table and second one is the im email id so one table containing that is the imp table uh, details about the employee and email id table contain the details about the employee email id so in both the table two uh, column two attributes two field are column let us see in this diagram here this is the employee id and here is also employee id so both are common here name and name are common so you can join either on name or on id or here are the other information but one column at least should be 
a common. So here employee ID is common, name is a common. So you can select any one of two for joining these two table. So let us see how can you write the command to join this table. First uh, on the high prompt uh, just uh, create a table. How can you create the table? Create table imp underscore table bracket names a string comma salary float comma city a string. So here you are going to create the table which name is imp underscore table having the attributes name salary and the city. So using this command you have created the table imp table. Next uh, uh, here row format delimited field terminated by uh, single quote comma single quote and the semicolon and now the time to create the another table hive create table email id and uh, name a string comma email a string so you have created two table namely imp table and the email id table and uh, you have seen on the screen these two table how to create these two table after using this uh, uh, command for creating both table now you have to join the table so row format delimited field terminated by single quote comma single quote semicolon now it's time to load the data local in path so how can you do this on the high prompt just uh, write the command here load data local in path uh, here in a single quote sem, a simple imp, a imp dot txt uh, uh, in a single quote into a table imp dot underscore table this is the name of a table this is the uh, file name of the text which containing some text now you can load data local in path email id dot txt this is the text file into the table email id so friend let us see here the concept this file is the text file or this is the table name so from there you can get the data and store in the email id table so please note that you need to give absolute path of the sample text files for the system to find them before moving forward check if the data has been loaded into table. So how can you check? First you have to give the hype command like select star from imp table. So whatever information is stored in the employee table which name is imp underscore table the all data from that table will be display on the uh, screen in this way you can ensure the data has been loaded into the table if data are not coming on the screen that means that table is not loaded in the table so this is the way to check whether the data has been loaded into the table or not so you can simply give the command uh, select a star from imply under table the same command generally used in sql also and uh, uh, see here another command uh, you want to get the data from email id in which you had loaded the text file of email the, the, the name of that table is email id so first you have to write select a star from email id so you can get the data on the screen so you will be ensure that your table is has, has been loaded into the table to perform inner join on two table you can use the following sql statement to join the table there, there is a certain sql command that can be used to join two table like this on the prompt you can write select a dot name a is any object and dot is the operator and name is the attribute in the table a dot salary comma a dot ct from imp underscore table a join email id on name a dot name equal to b dot name so friend you have two table namely one table is imply table and another table that is known as 
uh, email table. So, the name of uh, implied table is emp underscore table and the email address of an implied in the table name is email id. So, you want to join these two table. So, you have to use the command first you have to create a object. So, the you are going to join these two table on a, a common field that common field is the name. So, what can you do uh, just you have selected a object. So, just uh, attach all the field with the object. Uh, uh, for example, A is the object. So, uh, you can use the dot operator. So, A that is the object A dot name comma A dot salary or any field you want to add here uh, the object dot the field comma A dot C T and then you have to write the from and the name of a table in this case the name of the implied table is EMP table and A here uh, A that is the object you created. Now, join just a join is a command to join two table and email id. So, on and then again uh, use the same object that you had used the object a in the implied table a dot name equal to b dot name. So, a is the one object for the first table name and b is the another object for the second table name. So, these two will compare and then it will join. So, this is the command in hive you can use to join two table. Friend remember one thing if there is no common uh, column in, uh, in the table then it is not possible. This is possible only when a common column is available present in both the table like a student id, employee id, a name that uh, should be in the both table then you can use this equijoin and this is the command uh, this is the way to join this two table. So, now friend let us see here to perform left outer join on two table you can use the following statement. So, this is the statement how can you perform the left outer join on two table. So, on the high prompt just you have to write select a dot name comma a dot salary comma a dot ct from implied table name that is imp underscore table a is the object here uh, left outer join this is a command uh, email id on a dot name equal to b dot name and the semicolon. Friend to perform right outer join on two table you can use the following SQL statement like this on the high prompt select a dot name comma a dot salary comma a dot ct from imply underscore table a right outer join email id on a dot name equal to b dot name. So, friend you learned here uh, left outer join and the right outer join and the simple join equi join. So, what are the difference among these uh, bo uh, all are the same slightly difference from the table just uh, and uh, uh, before the next table just you have to use left outer join for performing the left outer join and just you have to write the right outer join on the uh, 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 for a right uh, outer join. So, these are the simple dif uh, simple difference uh, among these uh, these all. So, these all about the equi join joining the table left outer join right outer join simply first you have to create two table in a quick and in a just a summary how to join the table friend first you have to create two table and uh, both table having a common attributes then you can write the command the uh, just uh, write the command select and uh, take any object a b c d e so, uh, another example let x. So, x dot any field of first table and you can join uh, uh, right join right outer join or left outer join then the next table on and just compare another row x and y two objects. So, x dot common field in the first table and the y 
the common field in the second table and in this way you can perform the join of two table. Now friend, now time how to creating partitions and bucket in the hive. Partitioning and bucketing can be performed dynamically or aesthetically. So friend, dynamic uh, partitioning and bucketing in order to create partition and buckets you need to mention the database in use, create a table and define the partition and bucketing scheme for the table. Simple code for this given below, this is the so hive use database uh, TXN. So friend here you can also create the partition and bucket in the hive. Partition means you are going to break the big table into some a small table and you can make the bucket of it. This is possible dynamic partition and the bucketing. So to create the partition and the bucket you can also create the partition and the bucket you have a big table and that table can be partition and bucketing. So first you have to mention the database in the use at the uh, prompt of hive you can use the database and after using the database the table and the uh, schema partition that should be in the table and the you can use simple code the code is use db dxn. So friend in this way you can uh, dynam uh, dynamic partition and the bucketing. So friend let us see here partitioning of a table is given below. So friend let us see here a table and how can you partition that table. So this is the first table, this is the table and table having the uh, row India, USA, USA, Paris and the Germany. This is the table. Now we have to partition this table. So this is uh, I am going to partition this table. So first India you can only one, so you can take it separately here. So the India uh, row is taken from here. So another partition that is USA, USA having the two row. So you can take these two row separate. So USA and the Paris is only a single. So you can take it uh, uh, other places here. So another and the Germany and uh, the Paris. So now this all are the partition a big table is divided into some a small table uh, according to the some criteria the country the criteria. So India having only one row so only one and this is the another um, table of uh, one row USA having two row then the two row uh, table will be here Paris having the one row so one row table will be here and Germany one row so Germany one table. So this is the way uh, you can partition your table. This is the one example and the many more example huge data or a big table you can follow this way to divide the table into some a smallest one same uh, the same type of concept is generally used in RDBMS for table normalizations means uh, breaking the big table into the a small table. This just like similar to that one uh, in Hive you can partition the big table in this way. So friend how can you do this you have to use the command of hive. So what is the hive command create table uh, txn record in bracket txn num that uh, the, the type is int comma txn in dates as string comma customer id int text amount double comma text product a string comma text state a string and then you can use here the partition by text category a string. Now next uh, you can cluster by so you can cluster by txn state into five bucket row <coughs> format delimited field terminated by single quote comma single quote semicolon. The command given above K 
create a table in the database and define the partitioning and the bucketing a scheme for the table. However, if you are the uh, following query no record will as a result. So, friend you have a, a table and you are interested to partition that table, you are interested to bucketing the table, divide the table into some bucket, then friend you can use the uh, hive command and the hive command I have ex, uh, explained uh, right now and the command that given to create the table in a database that also define the partitioning and backing scheme for the table and friend this is the command you can use to bucket the bucket and, uh, and partition the table. So, here no record will appear as a result if you run the following query no record will appear as a result. Now, the last command uh, that is the hive select star from T X N record that is the name of a table limit up to 10 and semicolon. So, friend that all about uh, how to partition the table and how can you make the bucket of a, a table. So, this is all about it friend after a short break we will continue this uh, hive command. Thank you. With this note, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving us uh, uh, this uh, uh, session. Friends, you have requested to be with us as we are going to be back and would be discussing more. Till then, be with us. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome back to this session. Friends, as I know that today we are talking on advanced hive and H base. And for the discussion on the topic, we have with us in our studios Dr. Mansa Falam. Dr. Mansa Falam is Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science, Shamia Milia Islamia. Friends, if you have any questions pertaining to the lecture, then do ask through our toll-free number. Our number is one eight double zero double one zero four three zero. I repeat, our number is one eight double zero double one zero four three zero. Now, I would like to welcome our guest, Dr. Mansafala, once again. Hello, sir. Thank Dr. you, ma'am. Hello, friend. And uh, before going on a break, I was discussing about how to make the partitions of a table and how can also make the bucket of a table. And uh, I, uh, I was also discussing the hive command to make the partition and create the bucket uh, of a, a data of, or a table. So, let us uh, continue from here. The reason for this is that we have not added any record to the table. After uh, giving the command, you can uh, get the result and there is no record on 
the screen why it is because we had not added record to the table. So, the reason for this is that we have not added any record to the table. Now, if we add record to the table they must be dynamically partitioned for this a few parameters need to be set using the given set of command. So, you have to set the parameter uh, that is required the hive command. What is the hive command to set the parameter? So, this is the command first on a dollar sign this is not the hive prompt just you can write the set and then hive dot e e x e c dot dynamic dot partition dot mode equal to non strict this is the command to set the parameter using the hive command. Next command just you can write here set hive e x e c dot dynamic dot partition equal to true this command uh, use for uh, to set the parameter. Next set hive dot enforce dot bucketing equal to true. So, this is the command to uh, set the uh, partitions and this is the command for bucketing. So, in this way you can use these command to make the partitions and make the bucket of a table. Now, insert data from existing table T and uh, T x n table to th this table using the following command. Friend, uh, there is also facility with the hive to get the data from an existing table and transfer that uh, all data to the new table which you have created. So, the for uh, that uh, how can you do this means you are going to take the data from existing table and that data will be transferred to the next table and how can you do you can use the hive command to do this. What is the command? This is the command just you have to write here on the hive prompt from this is the existing table T x n table uh, T x n insert overwrite table T x n record partition T x n category. Another command you can also use here select T x n num comma T x n date comma customer id comma T x n amount comma T x n product comma T x n estate comma T x n category uh, distribute by the text category. So, you can look at the folders and the file created for every partition and bucket by listing the content of the data warehouse directory inside the hive that is stated above. So, friend this is the way this is the command in hive to transfer the data from existing table to the new table that is created after the partition. So, this is the facility with the hive that you can transfer your data from existing table to the uh, new table that is recently partition or a bucket. So, now let us see here a static partitioning and the bucketing. Friend you can also do the uh, partition and bucketing in the static way. So, partition can be statically added to the table. Uh, let us uh, look at an example to see how a static partition can be created in hive. So, friend you can also create the static uh, partition in, uh, in hive and for creating the static partition in hive you have to use the hive command. I am going to give you and uh, explain the hive command that will create the partition and that partition will be static. So, friend see here the command on the high prompt just write down create table blank space and simple table. So, create table is the command on simple table is the name of a table and within bracket you have to give the 
field name like name that is the string type id of integer type bracket close and then type partition by year that is the enter. So, with the year, uh, year wise you can partition the table. So, next command here row format delimited field terminated by in single quote slash t. Since there is no data in the table, so no partition have been created. If uh, no data, then no partition have been created. So, friend, this is the way to create the static partitioning and the bucketing. Now, let us see to add partition, the following command need to be given. The command is here alter table sample table add partition year equal to 2017 and the semicolon. You can delete the partition using drop command as well. To add data create a simple file table uh, separated data name same dot txt. So, here on uh, Hadoop fs dash port same dot txt. Uh, slash user slash hive slash warehouse slash db txn dot db slash simple table slash year equal to 2017. So, friend you can also add the partition to add uh, add the partition you have to use the alter command. Uh, friend uh, I think you remember in SQL alter is a command also available in SQL to modify the table. The same command can be used in hive to modify. So, friend if you are interested to add a partitions then you can use the alter command and how can you use the alter command you can uh, uh, write down here alter table and name of the table then uh, uh, add the command add partition and uh, which year you want to add it you can simply write down year 2017, 2018, 2016. In this way you can add the partition friend you can also delete the partition using the drop command. Drop command is also available with hype uh, that is used to delete the table drop command is also available with the SQL in a SQL people are using to uh, drop command to delete the table the same command also using hive to delete uh, the partition. So, the, in the case of SQL uh, uh, you are using drop to delete the table, but in that uh, drop command in hive uh, you, you can use to delete the partition you can create the partition you can delete the partitions. So, that facility is also available with the hive. Now, see here custom map reduce a script and the UDF. Programmer can extend the capabilities of hive by plugging in traditional map reduce as scripts for sophisticated data analysis. This feature has been added to hive to give programmers the flexibility to integrate their code to the hive cell and gain maximum performance ease of use trade off from this tool. In order to understand how custom map reduce code can be integrated with hive. So, friend uh, here uh, just I am discussing about the custom map reduce script and the UDF you what uh, do you mean by the UDF user defined function. So, as you are writing the function in C, C++ and Java, you can also define the uh, function, user can also define the function and programmer can extend the capability, uh, capabilities of Hive by plugging the traditional map reduce a script that is so sophisticated in the case of data analysis and to understand how custom map reduce can, could be integrated with the Hive. So, friend that uh, all about the custom map reduce script and the UDF. So, let us uh, uh, take an example and illustrate the uh, step as under. So, there are certain uh, steps that you have to follow it. First step 
create a table say sample table. Second one uh, insert data into a table. Third one create python a script for desired functionality. The code must be written in such a manner that each record is read, modified and the required value is return. Add the python or java file using the following command. So, friend let us see here one example we can understand with the help of this example there are certain steps that you have to follow it. The first step you have to create a table without creation of a table you cannot do this so you first create and after creation of a table you have to insert the data into that table and then create the python script and the fourth step that is the python or a java file using the following command. Now you have to use the command in the fourth step what is the command? The command is hive that is the prompt add file complete path of python or java code for the required functionality and let us see one example here in the fourth step how can you do this add file sample map code dot pi so this is the way this is the command to add the python or a java file uh, so sometimes uh, uh, students are interested to write the uh, script in the python or in a Java, so that can be integrated with the help of uh, uh, that can be integrated with Hive. So, Hive is compatible with the Java and the Python. And the fifth step create a new table for saving the transform result, say new table. So, friend, you can also uh, store the result into the new table you can assume any table and the result on the screen that can be rooted into the new table and the last step that is the sixth use insert command to add result as shown below. So, you can also use the insert command. So, this is the command in hive how can you do this? So, first uh, on the hive prompt uh, insert override table new table select transform x field comma y underscore fields comma z underscore fields as in a within bracket x underscore field comma mode underscore y underscore field comma z underscore field from sample data. So, friend here the sample data is the name of a table from that table you are getting these all information and you are going to insert and overwrite all things into the new table. So, this is the sixth step uh, people are using this command to insert and add the result. In this example, a column of the sample table y fields is being transferred into mode underscore y fields using the custom mapper code written in Java or Python and the result of the transformation is saved in another table name new table. To create a UDF you need to create a jar file for the desired functionality logic by creating a class that extend the class UDF. So, for doing this friend you can also create the UDF. What is UDF? User defined function as you are uh, writing the function in C, C++ in Java some a small code that will be used any time whenever it required and give the name of the particular uh, that function. So, similarly in Hive you can make a function user defined function that uh, that is common in all uh, all program wherever is required suppose uh, one example suppose every time you are interested to get the square root uh, uh, of a number. So, first you have to define the function of a square root and give the name of that function and that name will be 
used anywhere in the program whenever that functionality is required. Another example let us see for the function sometimes uh, in your program every time addition is required a plus b. It's so, first you have to make the function of uh, addition give the name that uh, of that function is add and that add can be used in your whole program whenever addition is required. Similarly, that can be used in uh, Hive, you can also make the UDF and you can use whenever that uh, particular uh, function are required. So, for that you have to use the some uh, steps are involved to creating the user defined function. The first you have to create the table after creating the table uh, you have to load the data into that table. First you have to create the table and then you have to load the data into that table. After that you have to create the jar file and for the desired functionalities. Whatever function you are uh, desired then you have to create and that will be stored in the jar file. And the fourth one that uh, jar file using the following you have to use a certain command uh, to add the jar file the this is the command hive just add jar uh, complete path of python or the java code for the required functionality and let us see where is the example the example is hive add jar simple underscore jar dot jar then the fifth step you have to follow to create the udf create a temporary function that uses the class created in the jar using the following command. Here you have to use the command to create the temporary function. You can also create the temporary function and you can use the following command. The command is here create temporary function simple function as simple class. So, friend you know these uh, all are the five uh, steps to create the UDF. UDF means uh, user defined function. So, whenever a UDF is required you can simply follow these uh, all five uh, step and create the UDF and you can use according to your requirement. Now, the, this is the last step of that uh, UDF uh, that is the sixth step. Uh, apply the temporary function on the column using the following command. You have to use a certain command. That command is select semp underscore column uh, within bracket simple functions from simple table. And the output cell print out the transform result on the screen. So, friend uh, uh, the UDF same as uh, uh, other programming language in other language people are defining their own function for performing their particular task. Similarly, you can also create the UDF in Hive and you have to follow these all steps. Uh, so, the result uh, will be printed and transfer result on the uh, screen. Now, friend it is a time about the H base. Let us see uh, what is H base. H base is a no SQL Hadoop database. So, random access capabilities are not provided by Apache Hadoop when the Hadoop database H base comes to the rescue. H base is high scalable, scale horizontally using off the self region server. H base is highly available, consistent and low latency no SQL database. It is with the flexible data model, cost effectiveness and no sharing. H base works well with the sparse data. Friend, let us see here some introductions about the H base. What is H base? H base is also popular worldwide. Uh, I will discuss uh, details about uh, how many company are using the H base uh, according to the country, according to the company in details and H base is more popular and it is just uh, like a, a SQL and you can also use the query and the H base have the capability that provide the Hadoop and also a database and that uh, 
uh, that uh, come to rescue. H base also you can say it is a scalable and uh, you can also uh, say the H base is highly available, always available and uh, you can say that is the flexible and this is also the cost effective. So, that is why people are using this H base in real life to solve their problem. Uh, before going to use the H base for your application, you should ask these questions. So, friend when you are going and you have decided to use the H base, first you have to ask a series of questions and then you can use the H base. What will be the question? What question you can ask here? Let us see. First question you can ask before going to use the H base the do you have adequate hardware whether you have the enough hardware to do the work or not that question should be asked you are going to perform some tasks some uh, going to solve some problems whether that uh, hardware are available or not friends suppose you want to uh, store a huge amount of data to whether you have to ask whether you have the enough hard disk to store that data or not or you are going to process the huge amount of data. So, whether you have a enough processor uh, with you or not because data will be processed by the processor. So, you have to ask uh, several questions that uh, do you have a adequate uh, hardware. Sometimes you are interested to take the result and make the ha hard copy of it you want to take the print out. So, whether printer are available with uh, you or not uh, we want to scan some data whether the scanner is available with uh, you or not. So, you have to ask a question do you have adequate hardware and then you have to ask the another question that question is does your application need this additional feature that RDBMS does not give. So, first you are going to use the H base and RDBMS is already mature in the field people are using the RDBMS. So, the naturally a question arises in your mind that way uh, uh, does your applications uh, required additional features that is not available with the RDBMS, RDBMS having the great feature many features. So, what are the new features need additional feature? So, that the questions will be asked and you can ask uh, such type of a uh, uh, question. And the next question you can ask do you have adequate data? So, when you are going to use the H base then you can also ask do you have adequate data or not. So, friend you have to ask these all questions before going to use the H base. Now, what are the component of uh, H base? So, there are certain component of H base. So, the component the first component of H base that is known as the master and the second component that is known as a zookeeper and then HDFS you can say H file then wall and so H file connected with the wall and that is the MEM store. So, MEM store is connected that is the bidirectional with the H file and MEM store also connected with the wall that again the bidirectional and then you can use here that is the zookeeper that uh, having the path for the region 1 and the region 2 slash H base slash region 1 H base slash region 2 and so on and then you can connect the master with the zookeeper and that again the bidirectional then you can connect master with the MEM store and then MEM store connected to the zookeeper and this uh, all are the uh, region region server. So, friend that all about the component of H base these all are the component and how these all component are connected to each other. So, this is the basic uh, component of H base and the bottom of this diagram there is the Hadoop distributed file system. So, I think a uh, friend uh, it is clear to you about the component of H base. Now, when to use the H base? Question is here H base is available with you 
what is the suitable time what are the place where you can use the edge base so edge base can be used for real time query of the data so it is very good uh, good you can say for the real time query of the data edge base is a perfect big data solutions if the applications uh, uh, need random read random write operation on both if the application need to access some data in real time then it can be stored in no sql database edge base has its own set of delightful app that can be used to push on the data and uh, edge base can also be combined perfectly with the hadoop map reduce for bulk operation like and that is existing the best way to use edge base and uh, is to create the hadoop repository of static data so edge base should be used this uh, is a huge amount of data acid properties are not mandatory but just a essential data model schema is sparse uh, when application need to scale the gracefully so friend that all about the advanced uh, hype and the edge base so friend you can also see several references so uh, you can see the references uh, from where you can go for the more study so this uh, okay uh, friend uh, i hope you uh, enjoy the lecture thank you thank you very much with this note thank you sir thank you so much for giving us uh, this session on uh, advanced um, advanced hives um, and the edge base friends if you wish to write to us at uh, info.cc@nic.in then your feedbacks and questions are welcome and we'll try to give answers to your questions for next time dr mansa falam visits our studio till then take care goodbye thank you sir thank, thank you, you once again